if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is November the 30th, 2021, and today the topic is Ask According to His Will. I hope that you all had a wonderful Monday. Mine was sort of like a, I don't know, it felt like a recuperation slash rest day a little bit i got uh, a couple of tasks for today but um yesterday was kind of chill um you know doing my little hustle from home and whatnot you know how that go <laughs> but um yeah i mean and you know it goes without saying being a mom right <laughs> but anywho yeah that's how yesterday went for me but yeah man Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday to you. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the juice, y'all. Let's get into the juice. So, um, this morning, one of the first phrases that came into my heart and mind after the prayer and meditation was, what are our wants to God? Meaning, kind of like, what the things that we want, what does that mean to God? Like, what is that? What is that to him? Like, when we know that he has everything and he, you know, created everything and, and everything like that, it's like, what are our wants? There, it's like, it's nothing. Just, <laughs> you know, uh, it's not like it's too big or, or something like that in regards to him. So, thinking on that and, and I guess marinating on, marinating on that idea of God having access to all and everything like that I guess got me to thinking that hey you know well how can we receive the things we want uh, obviously the word tells us over and over and over again to ask right ask and you shall receive and all these different verses even some that I'm going to share today <laughs> um, you know all of these verses are constant reminders of hey just ask right but I guess the thing is right before I was getting ready to go live, um, I was trying to figure out like what to call this episode or what to call the topic for today. And um, I was almost about to call it, all you have to do is ask. But then I guess something within was all like, mm, nah, you gotta do a little bit more than ask. And so that's why the topic today is ask according to his will. And, um, yeah, so that was the inspiration for today. So the verses, friends, let's start off with this one. It's James 1 and 5. It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him. So, um, now obviously this is in regards to wisdom in particular, but again, um, there's a lot of things that, well, well, a lot of verses that tells us that anything we ask and, you know, uh, will be given to us. And so, I mean, as I went deeper today, I ended up um, reading several things. One of the things I ended up doing was reading the entire John 8, which is the account of the lady that was found in adultery. Um, and I think... Well, for me, what, what I was, I guess, thinking about this morning as I read that that entire account was that, again, a lot of times we think about God and we think of him as if he's, I'm just going to use the word, but that's what people think, right? They think that he's just judging them. They think that he's up there keeping track of everything you do wrong just to condemn us or whatever people think about God. Um, 
that maybe you don't feel comfortable asking God something, right? You don't feel comfortable asking for the things you want because maybe within us we feel like God is judging us or God is um, well I was going to say maybe some people feel like maybe God don't want us to have good things or I don't know what people think man I'm trying to like <laughs> be in general here there's a lot of things that people think in regards to this but I guess what I was reminded of, of today as I read that encounter again John 8 um, is that, well, one, he had every right to condemn the woman, right? Um, you know, she was found sinning and everything like that. But look at what he did. Look at what Jesus did. Uh, first, he set her accusers straight. <laughs> um, all of those that was ready to condemn her and all that, ready to stone her and all that. Um... He let them know, hey, whoever's without sin, cast the first stone. And at the end of the day, he knows that he was in the, the only one in that midst without sin. <laughs> Everybody else obviously knew that they did have sin. Therefore, nobody cast any stone, stones at her. And so he, being the person, or being, if you want to say person, and in that instance, he was the person, the, the one that was there, without sin and could could clearly cast the stone at her did he according to what i read no he didn't and i think that speaks volumes in regards to the heart of god um the grace and mercy and all those things that uh we have every single day um and i think this at least this side of God, because again, we may not ever have a full understanding of God, which is interesting because that's what my um, prayer meditation was kind of centered around today. But this little glimpse into God and his heart that we saw through Jesus with this encounter with this woman, um, it just, he could have condemned her, he didn't. He could have stoned her and... Um, all of that he didn't and again I think that speaks volumes so uh, if we keep that in our heart and mind hopefully that makes it a little easier to go to God with our issues go to God with our questions go to God with our desires or whatever it is because again um, if the word is asking us constantly and reminding us and telling us constantly to hey ask <laughs> Um, some verses are so clear to say that, hey, the reason you don't have is because you don't ask, <laughs> you know, and all of that, where it's like, why not try? Why not at least try it God's way? Um, as somebody that I would say is trying it God's way and has been trying to try it God's way, um... Again, I, I sit here in the midst of blessings and whatnot. Um, not that I just did everything to deserve it, you know, or not that I just am perfect or anything like that. But I can say that, hey, there was a time where I, you know, asked, right? I, I, I guess the necessary, made necessary moves to try to be in the will of God and ask things according to his will and not just according to my desires or according to uh, anything else. And so, yeah, I mean, I guess that's just something to think about on today, y'all. That's what uh, came into my heart and mind as I was reading that encounter. And um, like I said, I hope that encourages you and inspires you to see that sneak peek at the heart of God but let's go to Matthew 7 and 11 it says if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him so again I mean it's just one of those things that <laughs> 
people like to compare themselves with God, right? They like to be like, well, I'll do, well, I do this and I will do that. So why can't God do this? Why can't God do that, right? So if you, right, and, and it calls us evil here. <laughs> so if we who are evil, we who sin, we who, you know, fall short, we who uh, don't measure up, like yesterday, right? If we um, know how to give good gifts to our children, then, you know, I mean, I guess it should be a no-brainer that, that um, our Father God would give us good things as well. And so, again, ask according to his will. <laughs> um, now, Mark 11 and 24 says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours so not only are you asking but you're believing right you have that faith to know that at the end of the day hey i've asked for this thing it is mine i believe and receive it and um yeah even if it takes some time right even if it takes some time um again i mean i i was talking to my mom yesterday and we just was really reflecting on just everything that has been taking place and all the blessings that we have received and, you know, goals that we have reached and all these different things. And, I, you know, I'm telling her that, hey, man, I'm just amazed every day at what God has done in my life. And, and she's saying the same about her, herself. And, and it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, because again, and I think that's the, that's the beautiful thing about doing things God's way because now I can look back and say, wow i remember when i remember when i was asking for all of these things i remember when i was um praying for all of these things but then at the same time as i was asking and then as i was praying i was i was working in faith for all of these things as well you know what i mean and so i think again that balance of faith and um work uh is important and um Again, yeah, also believing, right? Believing that you have received it. That's what the words say, y'all. So I'm going to keep going here. <laughs> John 15 and 7, it says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So that's why um, I had to kind of reiterate today this... Um, this idea that, um, you know, it's not just asking, right? It's not just, yeah, God, like, again, at, like, treating it like three wishes of the drink, the genie or something like that. It ain't like just you just go around and asking for you know, anything all willy-nilly and expecting God to do it. Um, ask according to his will. Um, again, I can remember praying the prayer that, hey, Lord, you know, I, I do have the desire to be a wife, but if that's not your will for me, then, hey, make it that I will be okay with that too, you know. And, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's in line with, you know, the way that Jesus prayed. Um, and, you know, especially when he prayed before he went to the cross and everything like that. And so, I don't know, it's just one of those things to keep in our hearts and minds. Like, yes, pray, yes, ask, but also think about, hey, am I in the will of God? And and if you're not in the will of God, then hey, you know, do what you got to do to get in the will of God as you ask and pray and believe. Um, and I mean, I, I as I'm a living witness, man, I, I've seen him moving, man, in my life. I've seen him moving in my life. Um, and this is all that I've done. I'm not perfect or anything. Um, you know, I am just a human too. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I just hope that this encourages you and inspires you to know that at the end of the day, God loves you. He is there. He is ready to give you great things. He had the whole plan for you and your life is great. Um, there's plenty of verses that reiterate this fact about how he feels about us. And so... Again, we may not fully understand how he feels about, I mean, or 
let me see, we may not fully understand him, but like my, uh, the prayer meditation for today was reiterating that, you know, we love him with all our heart and, and, and everything like that. And, um, live according to his will and, and ask the thing for things according to his will then and believe that we have received it then we will we will and i say try it try it and see uh the bible verse of today is second corinthians 9 and 6 it says but this i say he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly and he that soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully friends I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow at the Lord's will. Bye-bye. This has been brought to you in part by Anointed Touch Health, Fitness, and Beauty. Eat right and exercise daily. Walk with God. Run from the devil. 1 John 2020, you have an anointing from the Holy One. Visit anointedtouch-hfb.com for more information.